아. 말 테스트. 하하. 아. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm gonna take a lecture about how to use UCSC browser after chip, RNA, or ATEX sequencing. As you know, for high impact journal, analysis of epigenetic change and display with UCSC browser are quite essential. When you look at this paper in Nature BME, as you know this paper, they always use this, this kind of figure. And then when you go another Nature BME paper from the mechanical biology, they also dealing with epigenetic change and this UCSC browser. So you guys have to know how you can display your data after such kind of sequencing. So this kind of these two comes from the UCSC browser. UCSC browser, yeah, as you can expect from the name, this is was developed by the UCSC University, and then University of California, Santa Cruz. So they, they call it UCSC. And then when you go UCSC browser, I will show you later, you can Google it, and then my data and custom track. In custom track, you have to upload certain kind of file to make those kind of display. And then they, this UCSC browser, they can only allow us to display from this format, big, bad, big, bad chart, big chain, something, something, bam, and blah, blah, blah. And then after that, you cannot directly upload this file in this UCSC browser. First, you have to upload in another public public site, and then you can only copy and paste the URL here. So anyhow, the UCSC browser you have, and then you have this data. Left one is from my data after ATX sequencing. So depending on the company, you have to decide which kind of raw data can be uploaded in public sources. Here ATX sequencing, when you go visualization fold, you can see BW and bad graph. This bad graph here you can find. Bad graph, where it is. Here, bad graph. And then when you go to MRI sequencing, you can see this folder for IGB file. IGB file, they show BAM and BAM BII. So, but in case of Consig, you cannot find a file for this kind of research browser display. So this is some drawback compared to normal mRNA. But as you can expect from their uh, database, mRNA, they can screen whole gene. But Consig, like the QPCR we did, they only recognize certain part of gene. So they didn't show us, they didn't give this visualization data. I'm not sure, after asking some data, you can get another file, you can try, but at the moment, there is no as a given file. Anyhow, when you cannot find a file, which file can be uploaded, the most of the file is more than 100 megabytes, and then, depending on the company, they are using different format, sometimes BAM, sometimes BW, bad graph. So if you cannot know it, you just upload everything and then you can see which one can be available. So this is on, and then if you find first, you find the file, and then you have to go this cybers. This is some public website for uploading your previous file as a free. You cannot use Dropbox or Google Driver. They cannot be used. Only as far as I know, these cybers can be used. This cybers is an NSF-funded website created to provide free hosting service to researchers. 
allow byte chain requests. Actually, UCSC browser they only use byte re byte range requests, meaning binary files such as BAM, Big Bad, Big Wix can be hosted. Please see the hosting section of the Track Hub help page for more information of hosting your data at Cybers and other alternatives. Yeah, so you can visit this website and then you can upload. So I'll show you later how to do it. So I like us, there are many questions. I put my custom track file on Dropbox, Apple, iCloud, Google Drive, Amazon, something, something. And then now display in the usage browser. Why? Yeah. Solution. You have to use byte range request. So this backup provider used to work for hosting simple text-based custom track, but things have changed. Blah blah blah. So anyhow, you cannot use other like mm, commercial one, only this one, or when something something that can be based on bytes range request, you can upload and use that, use that URL. So when you visit this site, you can find this page. And then especially, you have to go to this discovery environment page. So discovery environment, you can go to this page. And then next, yeah, discovery environment, launch. And then here, you can find your data. And then you can upload your file right here. I also upload. And then for uploading, you have to make your own account. So after uploading, oh, you can find this public link. So when you click this one, they can show certain row. And then from certain row, you can find public link. And then after copy this public link, and then, now you can go back to UCS general browser, my data, manual trap, and then copy and paste your data, and then like this. Yeah, I will show you in, in detail one by one later. And then, now you can find this kind of UCS browser. So, so how you copy and paste? Here, this is some your custom track. So you copy and paste those files in here and then submit. If you have any one, only one file, you can copy and paste one URL. But if you have several groups, maybe three, four, ten, you can copy and paste in different row and then submit. And then they can show like this. Yeah. These five files is from the different things. So that is why from different, uh, some different big wave file, I can show one, two, three, four, five other way. Yeah, and then like that, now you can see this three file here, and then you can go visualization. Here, I can have this three group, and then this is some uh, uh, chipsick data, and then you can modify everything in this browser, which means the y-axis and then x-axis. x-axis, you can see this is some chromosome 9, and then you can insert some bar here. This is unlabel here. And then if we want to go some specific gene, and then you can type EGFR and go. And then they can yield to EGFR. And then this, uh, all other public data, you can add or you can change. And then uh, after certain re rearrangement, then you can get the file from how you can use the file. And then you can make PDF or some capture. But when I did, PDF show more high quality image than image view. So after view, you can click this PDF, PDF and then from PDF, you can copy and paste. You can also try to image view, but the image view quality is less than PDF. And then now I can get this kind of PDF file. And then this, 
you can get it. And then, uh, depending when you go in detail, if you double click this like this, and then you can change the display mode, full, dance, blah, 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 and then track height. Track height means sometimes this, as you know, this from 1 to 23, this is 1 to 8.6, this is 1 to 23. So which means if you show like this, people think that, oh, this peak is quite similar to stretch and control. But if you realize the y-axis, this is way below than control, right? So in that case, you have to make the same height. So here, you can take the track height. And then auto scale to data view, you can click one by one and then you can know what's the meaning of this. And then window function means, mean means they only show like this mean, black color. But if you go to mean plus standard deviation, this is black and a little gray, gray color, which means gray color is standard deviation of the value. So you can change one by one by yourself. And then after that, uh, my data and PDF, uh, PDF output and then PDF. And then when you have this data, uh, you can add many kind of this public, this upper two is my data. Other thing is from this UCSC browser, which, which are from the public resources. So this H3 K9, K27 installation, this uh, recognized the promoter site mostly. Okay, so this is uh, how promoter are combined here. And then this is a um, neurodium promoter. And then we can see that maybe this kind, let's see, this is a neuro-D1. neuro is some neurogenic gene. And then, as you know, from the gene previously, they, they certain transcription factor should combine the promoter region. So most of the promoter region, they can be uh, visualized this H3K927 isolation site. So we can see this kind of site uh, is relatively neurodium promoter region. And then when you see this uh, arrow, arrow means the transcription factor, they bind here and then trans start to transcribe from this way, left side. But when you go certain gene here, they transcribe to the right, right way, okay? So this is the meaning, how the transcription factor bind and then which direction they transcribe. And then this uh, neuro D1 promoter region here, yeah, they can see this is site for true promoter region. And then hmm, another data you can see. So I will go to the rear, data, rear home page and then show you one by one. So here, oh, as you know, this uh, head, head gene, this is the right way and left way. And then the reference gene here. And then the meaning of this, this one and this is, uh, this is intron and this is exon. Okay, so your expression yeah, can be obtained from the exon, exon site or sometimes intron site. Okay, so when you get the data from the sequencing, they always average. Let's say this is the one gene and then they average this peak. So show, show as a certain value. But when you go in detail, they always display like peak depending on the this gene database, okay? And then you can make the plot like if you have RNA-seq, ATEC-seq, and many-seq data, you can show them one by one. This is RNA sequencing, okay? And you can display as peak or this dense format, and then you can show both of them together. Maybe you, you guys, when you search other literature, sometimes they show like this. So you have to think about how you well display your sequencing data. And then from the, which kind of authors you can use. So as I told you, for mRNA sequencing, you can go this 
um, your whole data and then for IG file and then BAM file can be uploaded in Cybers. And when you go detail about RNA sequencing public database, uh, actually there are many public database, which means you have your own data from PCL or AU or your JERMA, but if you want to compare from the other data, and then there are many uh, RNA seq public data from the YouTube, you can refer and then get some URL, or they are automatically uploaded in UCC browser. So like this, uh, you can have, sometimes they are using certain cell line, and then they already do the RNA sequencing or ADA sequencing, everything. So you can find the proper uh, resources and then try to compare. And then here, mm, like this, you can see uh, many kind of MCF7, Hella, or Hubeck, our MyOD, this kind of cell line. And from the cell line, they did certain RNA sequencing. And then, let's say if you have so your angiogenic cell, and if you compare your gene expression level compared to Hubeck, and you can use these public resources. And then you can, when you go to a certain site, oh, you can have this kind of data. And then, depending on how you analyze it, so this is dense format, only show you guys this kind of, oh, this is exon and syndrome. And then full data, like this. And then pack, pack means this is pack as a, and appear like here. So also you can change uh, which data format you want. Okay, let's go one by one. So this is a UCS browser. And when you Google it, you can, you, you can know it. And then you can see my data custom track. So here you can choose genome, mouse, rat, human, and mammalia and other whatever you can like. Then you can also based on the which assembly. This is the most recent one. Okay. And then you have to put certain URL here. Okay. And then for putting URL, you have to upload your file. So you have to go this cybers. After making create account, okay, and then you go to and then discovery environment ana analyze. And then launch. And then I already log in. So this is after logging, you show like that. And then you go this way. So they provide us like one gigabyte, yeah, one gigabyte as a limit. So I use 17%. And then if you want to upgrade your storage capacity, you can buy some. This is some data I updated. So here, uh, I want to use, let's say, um, ATXIC data. And then, how you upload it? So here, upload, and then browser local, and then if you click certain folder, and then they can upload. Then they try to upload them they, by themselves, but, uh, the speed is a little bit slower than you expect. So for, for 200, 300 megapascal, it will take 10 minutes. Sometimes it takes one hour. So when you successfully upload it, you can see yeah, like this. Okay, This is a small uh, value, so they are quite fast. But when you have like 700 or one gigabyte, one gigabyte, sometimes it takes one or two hours. In, the, in that case, you should turn on your computer. So, okay, and then when you when you visit this ATX, you can go here, and then public link, okay, and then this public link copy, and then go back to your custom here, and then control V. This is the first control group, but I need another experiment group ES, and then. 
public link copy yeah and then submit and then this big bill file so this means they recognize this uh, read request well big bill file and then you want to delete it you can delete it or if you show them and then if we want to show genome browser other things but most of the time they use genome browser and then go and then if we want to add another custom track you can do again so I can go so this is your data this is only two the other thing is all the public okay so if you go here there are many many things really many many things so it's, it's very hard to say one by one but the important thing is that you can let's say first this is a dense file you, you can click it you can make the configuration so I changed from, from full full means like peak and then uh, track height okay let's say automatic and then this window function is mean and deviation so I just want to mean and then submit now they can show like this okay and then I want to try this to compare full and mean <coughs> and submit and then uh, okay I, which kind of gene you want to in your mind Shanika, <coughs> which, which gene do you want to see <coughs> Hat, okay, let's see, hat. Hat, and then you can show hat one, okay. And then click it and go. So this hat one, right, okay. <coughs> so, so this is some data from the ATEC sequencing. ATEC sequencing means that when certain genes are open, this ATEC seq is more high peak, okay. So more value means more chance to be expressed. But this hat is a little bit uh, not shown at a glance, so we can use this zoom out. And then, okay, this is the hat. Okay, and then if you want to zoom out more, one more time. And then you can see other genes. So this is a uh, reference, reference created. And then most of the time I use this A3 20 isolation. You can move it here, okay, and then you can change. Oh, you can change this value depending on. And then here it looks oh, 20, this control is little, little, oh, very similar, right? But it's not actually similar. Why? Control means 23, ES means 75. There's a why you have to change it, match to the ES group. So track height is not auto, 75. And now you can see, hat, which one is more high accessible? ES group, okay? And then you have to match again. So sometimes uh, people, to highlight their finding, uh, they show like this. So when I, this ES group, the y-axis, 50, And then you can see little this pink one. This pink one is uh, more than the, this y-axis. But if when you change like this, you can show them better. Oh. So it, it's, it's up to you guys. Mm. And like that, you can see, oh, hat genes, they are more accessible after ES. Mm. And then this hat, uh, Normally, uh, this is some pro uh, this is related to the promoter region. So this can be reason as a promoter region, and then they transcribe to the right way. Okay. And then this is some exon, this intron site. Mm. Blah blah blah. And then here, uh, also you can simply change full dense height. Okay. And then so. 
gene encode NCBI, you can also make it PAC. Let's change. When you go this, you can see this NCBI reference genes. Okay. So you can make very many gene, or you can make it as a dance. Okay. Dance means uh, like this. Yeah, single one. Okay. They combine all their public resources and they make it one. What is this? This is gene code version 39. Gene code. What is the meaning of gene code? So you just want to make it full. Well, actually, there are many, many versions gene code because uh, depending on research, they suggest this gene is this gene, or sometimes the, their opinion is not matched each other. So there are many versions, but uh, you can show only a representative version or you can make them all. So, and, and this kind of thing you can use as uh, your reference. So most of the time, people use this NCBI reference curated as a master reference, like this. But here, uh, you cannot see the arrow, right? So in the case, you can a little bit Yeah, at least people want to see this kind of arrow, uh, which is your promoter side, and then which direction they they can go. And then you can click one by one. So there's an interesting thing. So let's say this is some human mRNA. So let's let them display as a pack. So this is the human mRNA from GenePank, okay? So there are many public data. So this kind of human data we have. And then when you click it, also you can change. And then they show some very in detail expression, what is the meaning of this, and then how they are published previously, these public things. So you, you can change by yourself. And then this is too too big, so I can where is it? I can make it dense format. EST is hmm. so this is a human mRNA from bank. So also you can go up using here. Hmm. This is a human bank. And then, what is the meaning of a human EST? And then you can click it, and then you can find the meaning of the EST. Description. Uh, hmm, this is some another format. And then here you can, and then if we want to look at some regulate and some Let's see expression. Uh, EPD new promoter. Micro and tissue atlas. Okay. Or repeat. Sometimes when you see some uh, paper, they mention that uh, this gene is highly conserved uh, regardless of the species. In that case, you can use this kind of um, botabula change. And then this is all their public site. So from the Jibri, Jibra chicken or other things, and then you can go go up, and then we can say that maybe this hatching is highly conserved in the HAT, and highly conserved in regardless of species. Sometimes you can also use this one. Yeah. Here. 
yeah, many vertebra, like many things. So we can say conserved from 100 vertebra. So this gene side is conserved. And also you can go uh, microRNA or other things. So uh, to be honest, so it's very very deep, and then uh, you, you have you have to know what you want to say. But normally, uh, when, when I use it, I only use this this your my data, and then some reference, and then this layer system three can isolation, and then sometimes. Oh, this kind of gene expression from different tissue. So when you go here, uh, there are there are probability database. Uh, from the whole tissue, they MRI sequencing or other things and the display as color, like this. So and you can choose one of them and show uh, maybe your your data is from, let's say, fibroblast, and you can use skin, or your data from the brain, you can use the brain data, and they show this is also highly uh, expressed in brain compared to other, and then, and then under this context, I can show my changes, okay? So sometimes this can be used up to this. So, and then let's say uh, you almost finish, okay? And then, um, and then now is uh, you collect the data, okay? And then my data, view, and PDF. Okay. Yeah, and here you can collect from PDF. And you can see all this data. And then after that, you copy and paste this site, and then you can change. And if we want to remove this uh, y axis, this arrow, oh, I saw somewhere to change this. Mm. View. Configuration browser. Uh, yeah, light blue. Mm. Also, you can change the pixel and character, label size and text, and their font style. So most of the time, you can use times, right? Times in the Roman, and then pixel as much. Mm, like that. And then you remove the, everything. Then this is way better. And then as you know, this hat is from this chromosome 2, where? Here. And also, if you click Control and scroll, you can also shift as much as you want, like this. So you can have some journey, which kind of gene are there. And then if you want to go, let's say, H.3, um, and then here, show HX3, and then can go. HX3, they are located in chromosome 5 and this both side. And then, as you can see, this is some scale bar, kind of, in chromosome. And then this is in there, uh, where they started, and their number from the beginning, okay? So when you go HDAC, also the, the HDAC level is not shown at a glance, so you have to zoom out. And then zoom out here. As you can see, the HDAC3 level, uh, we make the same manner. There are not much of change. Oh, ah, here, they are also very highly expressed in ES. This is, um, uh, this is related to the promoter region of the HDAC. So when HDAC3 promoter is more accessible by ACTEC sequencing, which means there are more chance to be expressed tends to be transcribed, okay? Hmm. So up to now, any question? 
Okay, so anyhow, uh, I'm gonna share a certain URL to you and then you can try to do that. So I can give you my task as a, our instead of exam. So I want you two guys to use this uh, two data and then you explore which one you want to do, which gene, and then make the PDF file and then submit. This is my uh, final exam task for this week, for this class, okay? You use my URL and then make the UCSC Genome Browser and run it and then make the file, make the figure. So, so control means uh, we are using Chanika Fiberblast, right? Fiberblast, thermal fiberblast, right? Gingiver? This is gingiver? Yeah, gingiver fiberblast. Control means without anything. ES means with electrical stimulation of 30 minutes. And then right after 30 minutes, we send our sample for AT sequencing. So we expect that ES, they are more proliferate, migrate, more, more do something. They do something way better than control. In this context, you try to see which kind of gene is open. And this is from the ATEC sequencing. ATEC sequencing means uh, which gene is more accessible. Uh, Sometimes genes are condensed and then they are not accessible by the promoter or transcription vector. But when they are loose and then when they are open, this ATEC sequencing, you can see more peak. So more peak means more accessible. More accessible means more chance to be transcribed. And then they can show more MR expression. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.